Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome to Catholic Morning Prayer for August 2nd, 2022. Today is the memorial of St. Eusebius of Vercelli, who was a bishop. And as always, we will begin the Divine Office with the Angelus. We will offer that in Latin for our blessed Mary. All that being said, let us begin. In nomine Patri, Sifidi, Spiritui Sancti, Amen, the Angelus. Angelus Domine Nunciavit Mariae, Er Concepit de Spiritu Sancto. Ave Maria Gratia Plena Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Nuc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ecce Angela Domini, Fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nuc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nuc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ora pro nobis, Sancta Dei Genetrix, ut digni efficiar mor promissionibus Christi. Oremus. Gratiam tuum quesimus domini mensibus nostris infunde er qui angelo nunciante. Christi firitui incarnationum cognovimus. Per passionium eos et crucem ad resurrectionis glorium perducamor. Periundum Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. And so we begin morning prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall de declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending a knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the Flock. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. 
Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. You are the light of the world, a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart, to the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment, I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all of my bones, day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries, I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak gazing heavenward, O Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit awake your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with this burden of sin. Too heavy for us our fences, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountain with your strength, you are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the ways and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven, in heaven brim, brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with flat showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundant flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God's word is alive, it strikes to the heart, it pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. A reading from the Epistle to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. 
Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A few moments with these words of Holy Scripture. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth and holiness under the direction of our pastors. And now let us offer the prayer Christ has given us as the model of for all prayer as we say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Say, Livra nos amalo, oremus. Lord God, Saint Eusebius affirmed the divinity of your Son. By keeping the faith he taught, May we come to share the eternal life of Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. 
Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen and amen. Good morning, everyone. Good to have you here. Uh, please remember this evening at 6 p.m. we will have Vespers, and God willing, we will all be together again. Good morning, James. Good to see you. Hello, Cynthia. How are you? Michael, good morning to your brother. Sally Masters, how are you? Paul and Deb, good to see you here. God bless you. And Mary Schneider, God bless all of you. Oh, Mary Rose is here as well. Take care, everyone. God bless you all. Once again, uh, this evening at 6 p.m., God willing, we will have Vespers to offer sacrifice and praise for our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.